a revolving block. A small block with a mass of 0.06 kilograms is attached to a cord passing through a hole in a frictionless horizontal surface. The block is originally revolving at a distance of 0.4 meters from the hole with a speed of 0.7 meters per second. So it's revolving like this. The cord is then pulled from below, shortening the radius of the circle in which the block revolves to 0.1 meters. At this new distance, the speed of the block is 2.8 meters per second. Part A. What is the tension in the cord in the original situation when the block has a speed of 0.7 meters per second? Part B. What is the tension in the cord in the final situation when the block has a speed of uh, 2.8 meters per second? And part C. How much work was done by the person who pulled on the cord to shorten this radius? Okay. So uh, let's start in part A uh, by drawing a free body diagram for this block. Free body diagram of the block. So I want to identify the forces acting on this block. So the block is on this horizontal surface, so it has a weight that is pointing down. Of course, the surface will apply a normal force pointing up, and this is a frictionless surface. And we have the tension on the cord that is pulling it towards the center. So, um, modeling the block as a particle, we have the weight of the block pointing down. So we have mg, we have the normal force from the horizontal table pointing up. The tension is pointing towards the center of the circle. So when we set up our axis here, we have the y-axis, the vertical axis pointing up. And as you can see, uh, this would be the radially outward direction, so this would be my r hat vector. So I should put here the radially outward direction like this for this instant. Okay, uh, now the block is not moving on the y-axis, therefore the net force y component on, uh, is zero. So the normal force from the horizontal surface is balancing or is balanced uh, well the weight of the block is balanced by the normal force the net radial force is mass times centripetal acceleration because we have a circular uniform circular motion and in the first case in the original case we have minus m v1 square over r1, the original radius and original speed. Uh, so this is in minus r hat direction. This is equal to minus t, which is also in minus r hat direction. And I will call this t1 for the original situation. So as you can see, this tension t1 is equal to mv square over r. So this uh, the minus signs will uh, become plus and uh, the mass of the block was uh, 0 0.06 kilograms so this is uh, 0 0.06 times the original uh, speed of the block was uh, 0 0.7 meters per second so it is 0 0.7 square divided by r1 it was revolving at a distance 0.4 meters from the center uh, mv square over r so divided by 0.4 so this gives us 0 0.0735 newtons now how many significant figures do i want in this answer so here i have four here i have uh, two significant figures 
here I have two significant figures, so I want an answer with two significant figures. So this should be reduced to 0 0.074 newtons. <clears throat> All right, so that's part A. Part B, the second situation, and uh, now the tension will change the same free body diagram, but we have a new radius and a new speed. So this will be T2 equals mv2 square over r2, the second situation. This must be equal to uh, 0 0.06 kilograms times the new speed. Let's check. So uh, the new radius is 0.1 meters. The new speed is 2.8 meters per second. So it is 2.8 squared divided by new radius 0 0.1 and uh, this turns out to be so T2 becomes uh, 4.704 newtons which when reduced to two significant figures will be reported as 4.7 newtons. Part C is asking me uh, how much work was done. Uh, now, uh, normally, since you can see that this tension on the cord is a function of the radial distance from the center, the work done by tension will be integral uh, from original radius R1 to final radius R2, T of R, dr. And this work done by tension is going to be equal to the change in kinetic energy of the uh, block, which is one half uh, m v2 square minus one half m v1 uh, square. So this is our uh, work kinetic energy theorem. Now, why does the work kinetic energy theorem apply? Because that, that's the net radial force. The net radial force is equal to T in magnitude. Okay, so um, we can calculate the work done by the person uh, as 1 over 2 0 0.06 uh, v2 square which is 2.8 square minus v1 square 0 0.7 square so this gives us 0 0.2205 uh, which when reduced to uh, two significant figures is 0 0.22 joules so this is the work done <clears throat> okay so to summarize, we have a block that is revolving at a radial distance of 0.4 meters from a hole with a speed of 0 0.7 meters per second. Part A asks us the tension. Well, the tension is the radial force, it's the centripetal force. So mv square over r is equal to tension, so we can calculate tension this way. And then we decrease the radius, so uh, we're basically uh, moving uh, this block down and so what happens is that um, we're going to increase the speed of the block to 2.8 meters per second at this new radial distance so this will be the new tension and v2 square over r2 now how much work is done by the person who pulled on the cord uh, as you can see the uh, the person is doing work to increase the kinetic energy. Initial speed was 0.7, final speed is uh, 2.8. So uh, we're moving this uh, uh, block in the direction of tension, right? So the tension and the block are moving in the same direction. So uh, maybe we should write here instead of R1, R2, 
the total radial distance is zero to uh, delta r, where delta r is equal to the, uh, the displacement we have uh, has a magnitude uh, which is equal to r1 minus r2, right? So because we, we go from uh, 0 0.4 meters to 0 0.1 meters, that means we have moved the block by an amount of 0 0.3 meters in the same direction as the uh, force of tension. So uh, the dot product here gives us um, basically a positive the sign, cos cosine zero. So we, we go from uh, R1 to uh, R2 rad radius here. That means we have a total displacement of R2, uh, R1 minus R2, 0 0.4 meters minus 0 0.1 meters. So we move it by uh, 0 0.3 meters in the same direction as the tension. So normally you would need to know tension as a function of r dr, so you calculate this integral from 0 to delta r. But uh, since we know the initial speed and final speed, and since this is the only force acting in the uh, radial direction, that's the net force, work kinetic energy theorem tells us that the work done by the uh, net force is equal to the change in kinetic energy 1 half mv2 square minus 1 half mv1 square so when we calculate this we find our final answer to be 0 0.22 joules this is the work done by the person pulling on this cord uh, basically causing this tension uh, and causing a displacement in the same direction as the tension